I'd like to think I'm pretty tech savvy, but after almost falling for a phishing email the other week, I got a serious wake up call. Online threats are getting more creative and more advanced every day. So having a solid antivirus isn't optional anymore. It's kind of essential. And after that latest scare, I've been testing a bunch of different antivirus programs to see which ones actually perform when it comes to protecting your data and device suit. So recently I tried Bitdefender, which seemed pretty promising on paper. So I decided to look into it for myself to see if it can give me peace of mind after what happens. So today I'm sharing my experience using Bitdefender and breaking down everything from the setup process and the main features to how it runs in the background before comparing it with a few other top antivirus options that I've checked out. I'm gonna let you in on what worked and a few things that I think could be better. So if you've been searching for a way to keep your personal info safe, then stick around to see whether Bitdefender could work for you. Let's get into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with Bitdefender, it's a global cybersecurity company that's developed a reputation for putting out dependable and high-performing antivirus software. It's available across all the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. So no matter which device you're using, you're covered. But Bitdefender goes beyond just antivirus. You get access to a bunch of extras like a VPN, password manager, parental controls, identity theft monitoring, and even performance optimization tools. The whole thing is managed through Bitdefender Central, their online dashboard, and it's simple to log in, check on device statuses, and tweak settings either from your browser or through their app. So it checks a lot of boxes, which really made me want to put it to the test. Now, the sign-up process is very simple. You just pick a plan and from there, you're gonna create a Bitdefender Central account and then just confirm your email. Then you're all set to download the installer directly to your device. Now, once you have the installer set up, it's pretty smooth. Just follow the step-by-step -step prompts and within a few minutes, you're gonna have it up and running. I liked how hands off the whole thing felt didn't bombard me with settings or technical stuff during installation, but still gave me the option to tweak things later on. Now, when you get to the interface, it's clean, it's modern and easy to navigate. Most of the features run quietly in the background, but if you like diving into settings, the dashboard makes that pretty straightforward as well. You've got options like quick scan, full system scan, and rescue environment, which is basically a deeper scan mode that reboots your system to hunt down more stubborn types of threats. Then if you're on Windows, you'll find a tray icon, but if you're on Mac OS, it sits up in the menu bar. And this gives you quick access to tools like SafePay and the VPN without having to dig through menus. Now, one thing I thought was really helpful is Bitdefender Autopilot. It learns how you use your device and quietly makes suggestions to boost security without interrupting anything. Plus the malware scans partly run through the cloud so it doesn't slow your system down too much. And with their Photon Tech, the software adapts to your device's hardware and usage habits over time for just better performance. So as you're signing up, Bitdefender actually has a couple of different plans you can choose from depending on how many users or devices you need to cover and how much protection you're actually looking for. So starting with their most basic option, the Antivirus Plus plan supports up to three devices at around $30 a year. It includes real-time protection, ransomware defense, anti-phishing, a secure browser for online banking, and a basic VPN with 200 megabytes per day. So if you're on a budget and you just want reliable protection for a single PC setup, this is a pretty safe choice. Next is their total security package, which is a bit more of a well-rounded option for about 60 bucks a year. It covers one user on up to five devices, or you can bump up to five users and 25 devices for 80 bucks. This plan provides everything in the Antivirus Plus plan, while also adding a password manager, anti-theft tools, device optimization, and a Wi-Fi security advisor. So this one makes more sense if you still want some great essential security features, but with enough coverage for an entire household. Now, if you want even more tools, you can step things up a notch with their premium security plan, starting at around 80 bucks for an individual and hundred bucks for families. The big upgrade here is their unlimited VPN, a full featured password manager, scam alert detection, ad and tracker blocking, and priority customer support. I say this plan is ideal if you take privacy more seriously and you want a more seamless ad-free experience with extra support when you need it. And finally, for those who want top level identity protection, there's the ultimate security plan. This one costs around 90 bucks for individuals and about 120 bucks for families. And it includes everything from premium and adds digital identity protection, breach monitoring, and identity theft insurance that goes up to $1 million. It's great if you want deeper financial and personal data protection. 
So depending on how many devices you've got and how much protection you're after, there's definitely a Bitdefender plan that can fit your setup. And if you want to try any of these Bitdefender plans for you or your household, then you can check them out and get started by using the affiliate link in the description below where we've got special deals sometimes that you won't find if you go directly through their website. All right, so after using Bitdefender on my own devices for the past few weeks, I've gotten some time to learn my way around and I got a feel for it. And here's a few things that stood out to me so far. What I noticed right off the bat was the real-time protection. It just runs quietly in the background and it handles threats without being disruptive. I didn't have to constantly approve alerts, but it still stepped in when I accidentally clicked on a sketchy link or downloaded something questionable. And the network threat prevention is built to stop malicious traffic before it even hits your device. I didn't see it kick in visually, but I definitely felt better using public Wi-Fi knowing that something was watching out for shady connections and background exploits especially when logging into sensitive accounts or working from a cafe. It just adds that extra level of protection and gives you peace of mind. Now, when it comes to the advanced threat defense, this part is designed to monitor how apps behave, not just what they are. So that's helpful because sometimes threats aren't obvious right away. And in my case, a couple of lesser known apps triggered alerts. While it was a little frustrating at first, it was easy enough to whitelist the ones that I trusted. And honestly, I'd rather have that momentary inconvenience than risk letting someone sketchy slide through. The vulnerability assessment also ended up being way more useful than I expected. With one click, it scanned my system and flagged a couple of outdated programs and missing patches. It even suggested direct fixes, which saved me from having to hunt everything down manually. Now, as for web browsing, Bitdefender's anti-phishing and anti-fraud features they did a solid job. It blocked a few sites that had looked fine at first glance, but were actually redirecting me elsewhere. And what I really liked was that it told me why a page was being flagged. It wasn't just some vague warning, which made it easier to trust what it was doing. Another cool feature was the anti-tracker extension, which made some heavier websites load a bit quicker by blocking unnecessary scripts. It's not a huge boost, but it is noticeable. Now, SafePay, their secure browser for banking and shopping, it works well, but it does feel a bit slower than your typical browser. It also doesn't support extensions, which makes it feel a little restricted. But still, for peace of mind during online transactions or financial activities, it does cover the basics. Now, if you've got kids, the parental controls are a useful addition. You can set time limits, block inappropriate sites, and monitor activity across different devices. It's not super complex, but it gets the job done. So all things considered, Bitdefender really brings together a strong set of features that are actually effective and practical for day-to-day -day use. It's easy to manage, doesn't slow things down, and gives you that added sense of security without being overbearing. So. While it's not perfect, for what you're getting, it's a pretty versatile and well-rounded option. But before I decided on Bitdefender, like I mentioned, I had checked out a bunch of different antivirus services and two other options that had stood out were Norin and Kaspersky. So let's take a moment and see how the three of them stack up. So when we look at Bitdefender next to Norton, both services offer strong protection, but Norton includes LifeLock, which gives you deeper identity monitoring and more credit bureau coverage. So that's a big plus if you're specifically focused on financial or identity protection. On the other hand, Bitdefender pulls ahead when it comes to malware detection, accuracy, and system performance. And in my experience, Bitdefender felt lighter and less intrusive during regular use. Then if we compare Bitdefender with Kaspersky, they both come with solid antivirus engines, built-in VPNs, and parental controls. But Bitdefender often ranks slightly higher in terms of speed, real-time protection, and usability. Meanwhile, Kaspersky's interface is pretty clean, though Bitdefender just feels a bit more intuitive overall. Now, at the end of the day, all three of these services are great options, so the best choice really just depends on what you need and what you prioritize. If you want something simple and secure without too many bells and whistles, Kaspersky is a pretty decent option. Or if identity protection is your main priority, Norton with LifeLock might be a better fit. But if you're after excellent malware protection with minimal slowdown, then Bitdefender is a great choice. So to wrap things up, Bitdefender really does a solid job when it comes to providing everyday security. It runs quietly in the background, effectively catches threats, and offers a lot of cool extras like their VPN, parental controls, and a password manager. Now, it's not perfect, but overall I'd say it strikes a good balance between dependable protection and smooth performance. So if you're looking for an antivirus that's reliable, fast, and packed with features, 
that you're actually going to use, I definitely recommend giving Bitdefender a try. And that's all for this review. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos just like this. As a reminder, if you want to secure your devices and protect your personal info with Bitdefender, then you can get started by using the affiliate link in the description below, where sometimes we do have special deals that you're not going to find if you go directly to their website. Also, if you are interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so go ahead and leave any questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.